So yesterday you built a little something in Redux and saw roughly how it works, but how does it actually work? That's a question I often get about Redux is what actually does Redux do? What happens behind the scenes when you're doing your reducers and action? So Redux is very elegant in its design. It's based on very functional principles of reducers, which are reduce functions that the basic thing you have to realize is that Redux has a store let's model it as a little square and this store doesn't actually do anything it just has a function called a reducer and this function takes care of all the data and then it has an array of listeners and there's also a dispatch function the dispatch function calls an action what calling an action actually does this dot state becomes reducer this reducer is this reducer is where your state happens, where all of the state lives and it gets an action and the current state. So what the reducer then does, think of a reducer as, let's say you have a sum function. So how do you sum one, two, three, and four? The functional way to do that is to say, you start with zero and you have an action of plus one. So zero plus one, then you have a state of one and an action of plus two. So the state becomes three. So this is what Redux is doing. It's taking your current state, calling a, your reducer function, and this reducer function is internally very comp can be very complicated and nested and have a bunch of sub-reducers. So it calls that reducer function with an action, which is a description of what's happening right now, and updates its internal state. When it updates it in the internal state, the dispatch function gets your new state, goes through the array of listeners, and it calls your listener with the new state. And when this happens, React essentially re-renders because of what the update function does. So let's look at this on an example I prepared earlier, and we're gonna walk through it, and I will tell you exactly what's happening every time you do anything. 